Alright guys, what's up? It's Apollo here, and welcome back to our Bannerlord playthrough. So in the last episode, we finally defeated the Western Empire, kind of. I think they still exist because they have lords walking around, but we took all their cities. They have no more cities, and uh, yeah, they've, they've pretty much been conquered. Now, we've been fighting a lot, and I've been noticing this in the comments about just, hey, let's stop. Let's stop for a second. Stop the fighting. Stop the killing. Let's work on improving other things like making our lords happier and improving the garrisons, improving our own army, hunting down bandits, making the villagers happy. We got to do some housekeeping. We got to improve our own country and we need to try to avoid wars. Now, technically, yes, we're still at war with the Northern Empire, but they're also at war with the Kuzates, which... The Kuzates should give them some, they should keep them tied down. They should, we shouldn't have to worry about the Northern Empire anytime soon. So, um, I mean, man, a part of me just wants to, I keep attacking. I, a part of me just wants to keep attacking because I don't want the Kuzates to take this territory. I really don't. But we got to let our army heal up. We got to let our army heal up and we got to improve the villages, you know, improve relate, um, excuse me, relations with the villages because they'll supply us with better troops. So consider this episode a bit of a housekeeping episode. We're going to sit back. We're going to do a lot of management, you know, that, that kind of stuff to, to make our, our kingdom, our empire a little bit stronger. And of course, we're always going to try to make our lords happier. And I'm going to try to just give them money. Like, is that going to help rela with relations? I never really know. Like, hold on. Let me let me go to this lord here and just try to improve relations if I can catch up to him. I just want to experiment here a little bit and just see, like, more ways to make him happy. Because it's taken a really long time to make him happy. Oh, my God. Look at the Western Empire still over here. <laughs> Uh, I guess we could go talk to him. What are you doing in here? Here, we'll talk to you. Oh, he's got a quest for us. Uh, well, we'll just talk to you. I'm not going to do the quest. The spy party? I, I don't know. I guess I could do that to improve. Look how happy. He looks really happy. That's the thing I don't understand. It's like, look at that face. He's happy. Uh, but when you, like, deal with them, it says he's kind of upset. Like, negative relations. So, I'm Apollo. Who are you? Chieftain of the Sturgians? <laughs> what? You served me. I mean, I guess you can be Chieftain of the Sturgians. I'll give you that ti that title. Um, something I like to discuss. Let me, let me give them, like... Let me just experiment here. We have a lot of gold. I'm going to give them, like, 10k gold. Did that improve our relations at all? <laughs> or did I just give him 10k gold for nothing? I didn't get a pop-up for it. So let me leave and maybe it'll show up. Relations negative 97. I don't know. Did it improve at all? I'm not sure. But look how much they hate me. I, like, I don't know what to do about that. Like, donating influence to them is not going to be enough. Well, what we're going to do now... Uh, we're gonna go to our villages and we're gonna look for some quests. These quests are not gonna be the most exciting thing, and you can kind of consider this episode a bit of a podcast. You know, it's it's gonna be very laid back. See, train troops. Oh, I hate training troops. Oh, I'm not gonna do that one. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm the worst emperor. It's like, dude, you gonna help me out or what? Uh, but I hate that quest. Um, but you were gonna look elsewhere. Uh, we're not going to recruit. That's one thing you guys mentioned about recruiting is that you don't want to recruit from your own villages because it takes it away from your own lords. So we don't want to do that. But we're looking for a quest. Here we go. We're going to deliver the herd to the city. So this is a really easy one. We did this one not too long ago. Uh, I'm Apollo. Yes, I will help. So we got 60 of these like horses we have to deliver to the city up north. So, let's go ahead and make our way, and it's been marked on the map here, which is a Batanian city. Well, it's really a Sturgian city, but it's been conquered by the Batanians. And we're slaughtering animals for food, which is okay. 
And we got some prisoners who want to join. Again, this is a, uh, you know, we, we are, that's another thing we need to focus on is just improving our army and getting them up to strength. An army was created. Okay. Interesting. All right. Are you going to attack the Northern Empire? Ooh, I might join them. I mean, I'm going to be up there. I know, I know I just said this was supposed to be like a housekeeping episode and I need to take time on, on improving my empire and, and, you know, making sure my lords are happy and everything because they will drop out, you know, they will leave us if they get too upset. So I don't know how that works, man. Like I, they're so upset and I don't know why, maybe because I beheaded a lot of their like old vassals or, you know, peers when we were at war. Cause a lot of these vassals that we got were at war with us at a time you know uh, but anyways let's just keep moving let's just do this quest uh, we're making good money that's good our army's getting up to strength we're at one we're gonna have 134 we can get up to 151 which we should max out let's get over this way and go ahead and go and we got to talk to what was the name again let me check the quest really quick uh delivered need to talk to the brewer okay so he is right here. Let's talk to him. We're going to improve relations. We're also going to recruit from the nearby towns. We'll get some Sturgeons in the army. I would also like to go to, to uh, Valandia and also Botania to get their archers and horsemen and infantry. All really good units. So it's, it's good to have a nice mix of different types of troops from different cultures because it can really make your army a complete army. Okay, I am Apollo. Nice to meet you. Here's your cattle or your horses or whatever. Nice. Uh, increased by eight. Perfect. All right, quest completed. Haven't heard that one in a while. Very nice. This is a cool town too. I like this. I think it's been a while since we walked around a uh, Viking, Viking city here. But uh, yeah, we'll go back and let's just see how the wars are going against the Western Empire. Oh, first, actually, let's recruit. Wait, what? Oh, oh, okay. That's weird. My population went down by 10? Did I misread that? I thought it said 130. Okay, I must have misread that. How did we lose a bunch of troops? I don't know. Did it say 130 or did it always say 120 and I'm just an idiot? That's okay. We'll just take these troops and we'll add them to our army. We'll continue to grow. And we're going to go ahead and go to the cities here, or the villages, and recruit from here a little bit. We can always stop by the Vlandians as well, get some of their recruits. And just keep adding more men to the army. Maybe we could go after some looters as well. See, the Southern Empire has been taken prisoner by the Mountain Bandits. Ira! Oh my god, Ira! Yeah, I, why, why are they still around? You know, I feel like when you lose all your cities, you should just like, these lords should just disband. Uh, but here we go. Here's some recruits. Sturgy and recruits. Let's go up this way and see if uh, we can get some Vlandians in the army. And let's try to get our army up to full strength. You know, let's let's get to that 151 number and see if we can kind of, you know, train up these recruits. Oh, here we go. Those are actually some really good units. So, yeah, I'll, I'll happily add some Sturgeons into the army. Recruit some more troops here. Uh, so, okay, let's let's talk about this conspiracy thing because a lot of people have mentioned the conspiracy stuff and I just want to like clear some things up because like in the last episode, I think it was episode 29, uh, I got so many comments about, hey, they're all declaring war on you because of the conspiracy. You got to stop the conspiracy. Well, none of those comments ever explained how. So I would see it over and over, Apollo, hey, you got a conspiracy going on, you got to end it. I'm like, okay, but how do I do that? Because the quest says nothing. It says nothing, you know? And uh, I did some research. Now, I'm going to be honest, it wasn't like super intense research. It was just kind of like basic stuff. But everything that I saw at quick glance said that the quest is bugged and you can't beat it. It's just forever an issue and you just kind of have to deal with it. So unless there's something I'm missing out on, which could be a possibility, I could be missing out on something. 
Wait. Oh, someone's giving birth. That's another thing. I need to... You know what? That's another thing I need to manage. I need to go talk to my wife. <laughs> Try to have another baby. Uh, just to secure the throne. Anyways, uh, what I was saying is, yeah, it's bugged. I, I don't know how to do it. I've tried. Uh, I tried talking to the guy. He, he's in this city. He hangs out in the tavern. The guy telling the lies and the, the conspiracy stuff. He, he Nothing happens. There's no dialogue. There's nothing. So... Let me know if there is a way, because I will certainly, you know, do it. But right now, I don't think there is. Uh, and another thing I want to do is find a healer, find a doctor to add to the army. So let's go to the keep and let's talk to my wife. Let's talk to you. Hey, your highness, I'm at your service. Oh, yes, you are. But don't, t don't call me your highness. I'm your husband, all right? Um... What is the state of the... Things are alright, my lord. Business is good, but could be better. Some prices are high, but most of what the people need is available. Okay. Um, about your position. Never mind. Quick question. How about... I give you some money. You know, that's what wives are for, right? To give them money. <laughs> uh, oh, I can't... I can't give her anything. Why? Is accepted. What? Hold on. Is that a little... Is that a little, like... Exploit? Oh, okay. You could only do that once, right? Okay. Well, we talked to her, right? I must go. Kisses. Oh, I kicked at her. <laughs> Kisses, sweetie. I'm going to go kill some either bandits or another faction that's going to declare war on me. She's just paranoid. She's going to lose her head. <laughs> Let's go to the tavern and see. Is there anybody? Spice vendor. Ooh, I bet this guy would be, or girl, would be a good, um, like, trader. The trade, like, for a caravan. But I'm looking for a healer because I think currently, right now, we can only have... So many, ca we can only have one more companion, and I want a healer companion to roll with us. We might have to buy some food soon, too, which I'm not going to do it in my own cities. That's another thing you guys mentioned. I, I already mentioned this before, but do not buy food from your own cities. We can try buying food from the villages, too. So let's go over here and see what we got for recruits. I think this is an imperial village, so yeah, we'll, we'll get a couple imperial recruits. And let's see what you got for food. Okay, you got some food. We're going to just buy it all. That might affect the nearby towns, though. That's okay. And we'll take the sheep, too. We can eat the sheep, right? Sheep are for eating? Yeah, we can eat them. So that's going to increase our food by quite a lot. Thank you, village. And here's our nearest city. We can go try to loot over there. I wonder if our relations have improved because we married the daughter of... You know, the princess of Valandia, now empress of the Empire of Calradia. That's a huge upgrade, if I do, if I ever say so. If I do say so. All right, let's go. Let's see. Outcast, outcast. These guys are, the, the two outcasts are hanging out together. <laughs> let's go uh, trade, I guess. We can get a little bit more food. We have some loot we can give up too, but I probably should just to lighten the, uh, lighten the load. You know what I mean? Make it so we can move a little bit faster. So let's just make sure we lock this food up. And we got the uh, the animals locked up too, right? Yep, they're locked up. So we'll take that and uh, perfect. 37,000. But let's not leave yet because I want to buy some food. Oh, they've got a lot. Nice. We'll take the grapes. Okay, they, don't, they have a lot of grain. You know what? Take all the grain. Take it all. <laughs> All right, that's that should be good enough, right? Let's take the olives, the dates, beer. Take all this cheese, delicious cheese. Got some fish here. All right, D that's fine. I know you guys were like, "Hey, Paul, you're losing money when you do that. Like your your loot's worth more." That is true, but it, money's not an issue right now. It you know like we're not r running out. Maybe I should be more cautious with my money, but I'm not, so I'm not too worried about it. 
And our army's grown really quick, much faster than I expected. Let's see if we can get a couple more Valandian. We just need to save one spot for a healer. And a healer companion would be a huge, huge help. There we go. Let's just get these really good guys. Nice. Got a really awesome recruit there. Let's go check out over here. Uh, okay, we got a levy crossbowman. That's pretty decent. Nice. I, I like the recruits over Hey, look, one of my uh, caravans are over here. Hello, doing a good job. Helping me, helping me make money. All right, barter accepted. What? I, what? Okay, uh, let's recruit and another crossbow. That's perfect. So we can get a couple more guys in here. I might have to go through my army and like get rid of any looters or anything like that. Let's go to the tavern. Let's see, willow bark, willow bark. Okay type wanderer let's talk to willow bark because that might be like medical related like oh i can build a uh i don't know some kind of medicine out of willow bark you know like uh i'm apollo lived in village north here across the gulf there's a cruel land there was no strong king another ravaging neighbor's land happy peaceful child until one day a month i was to be married it was the worst day. It was the it was the day my life changed. A band from nearby village attacked us. They killed my mother. Oh my goodness! They burned our village. Those who lived in the woods. Like okay, homes. I don't see anything about. Uh, I'm sorry for your fate, my lady. At any rate, if you know the war band who's looking for someone who knows to treat wounds, I'd be grateful. Yes. Uh, right now I'm in between jobs. I could use someone like you in my company. Absolutely. Here you go. Here you go. So she is a healer, right? I mean, treat wounds. And she should only get better. So let's check her out. Um, let's, so let's go to... What is it? Inventory or character? Let's go to character. So here's my wife. My wife. My wife is actually really good with charm. Holy crap. Anyways, uh, where is Willow Bark, right? Yeah, Willow Bark. She is 60. She's 60 with medicine. Um, increased character hit points. A walk it off. Bonus healing increase. Okay. I mean, she seems okay at healing, honestly. I, like, I feel like I'm better with medicine. Let's see, what am I at? 70. So... Does this even bring any value? Was that worth it? I guess so. I mean, it's better than nothing. I have another healer join. But I think we're at our max right here. Yeah, I think we're I think we're at max forces. So, excellent. We hey, let's check that off of our list. We've got our army back to full strength, and now we can go and I don't know. I I, I kind of want to defeat the Northern Empire. I know I was I guess we can kill some hideouts. Let's do that. Let's just, or or we could do some quests for the villages to try to improve our villages. But yeah, so far so good. This is going quite well. Relations increased. I think our other lords are doing good, improving relations with the town. Look at that. Oh yeah. And also let's not forget our influence. So every once in a while, I'm gonna give some influence to my clans. This guy's getting a lot of influence. A lot of influence. <sighs> Alright, here you go. That should help. Yep. Just increase. Increase support. So what are you at? 97? Who's... Man, they really hate me, don't they? <laughs> they really hate me. Oh, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to make them like me. Here, Here's a little hideout we can take out. Again, I assume taking out hideouts help because you um, make the villagers feel more safe and secure. Taken by the Northern Empire. One of my guys were taken prisoners by the Northern Empire. Um, we got more prisoners who want to join us. Uh, let's actually... I probably need to go and get rid of some units in here. For example... Like, looters, if we have any looters in the army, which I don't think we do, I don't... I'll get rid of the peasants. 
Like, I really want to make room for troops that are really good or have potential of becoming really good. So, let's attack. It's nighttime. This shouldn't be too difficult. We should have a lot of archers in the army. So, let's tell everyone to fire at will. Oh, okay. This is easy. Sometimes this happens. Like, if they have a really small bandit force, you go straight to the boss. Very well, you're gonna die. Oops. Oh, took out the wrong weapon. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Okay. And let that be a lesson! When you cross blades with me, you'll be dead. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. So we got some nice experience there, whatever, not really, but we dealt with the hideout. And that should be the end of the hideout. Hopefully that kind of makes them happy. Uh, let's go check on this village. Maybe there's a quest over here. Uh, there's no quest, so we're going to leave. Uh, how are the cities doing? How, how big of a garrison do I have in here? I'm sorry, I feel so lost. You know, I've, I almost feel like... You know, the type of person that works their whole life and then when they finally get to retirement, they have no idea what they're going to do, you know, and they just end up working again. Like, I feel like that's what's going to happen with me. I'm going to go and I'm going to just go to war again because that's all I know. That's all I know. Uh, let's manage the garrison here. And we can put, again, any troops that I feel are kind of holding us back. That's going to be the peasants. Um, that's also going to be any kind of like looters. Like right here, we have eight looters. Yeah, I don't want you guys. That's going to free up some space for better soldiers. And it looks like that's all of them. So that's good. That's That pushes us back down to 142. So that's going to open up for some prisoners to uh, who want to join the ranks. More cav, more archers, and we got another infantryman. We can. The good news is we can still put more in there. So once these guys decide to join us... Uh, we can get them in there. Uh, we do have a couple people leveling up, though, too, which is good. Can't level those guys up yet. Can't, can't, can't. Okay, that's good. So there we go. So that's that's solved. That that's problem solved right there. And we got 71 morale, which is pretty good. And every time we get to, like, 500 influence, I'm going to start handing out influence to my my uh vassals to to make them happy let's go to this next hideout over here again just trying to make the uh, the area safer trying to make them ha oh my god the northern empire is taking out my guys i really want to kill the northern empire i again i'll give it some time i'm not gonna go after them yet but they keep capturing my vassals and it's not making me too happy uh de definitely next episode I, I am going to be going for that Northern Empire. And again, I hope this isn't too boring. And let me know. Seriously, let me know if you feel like, you know, Paul, this was kind of cool, but it, it wasn't. It was kind of boring. And I just want to see the battles and stuff. So, like, if you could just give us a recap of, like, what you did. You know, I could just record this and then give you a summary and show footage of the summary. And then move on to the major events. Or if you love this and you're like, hey, you know what, Paul? This was cool. It was chill. You know, you weren't, you know, constantly at the edge of your seat and big battles. It was nice being able to walk around our own kingdom and kind of see what it's all about. So, oh, here we go again. All right, time to die. Very well. Okay. Oh, he... He fainted me. There you go. Let that be a lesson. When you form a hideout in my empire, you will die. Now run away. Join the army. I don't know. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, so we got, of course, easy renown there. Uh, we got some... I guess I'll take them. I can just put them in the dungeon or something. I probably shouldn't let the prisoners go. So I'll go to this castle really quick. And I'm going to put away any prisoners I don't want. What? Approach the gates. Excuse me? I have to request entry? Forbid me? 
egg. Excuse me? This is a joke, right? I'm the em I'm the emperor. I'm the emperor of this empire. You're you're not gonna let me in my own castle. This is my castle. This is I gave you it. All right, I gave you this castle. That just shows how much my vassals hate me. Guys, I need help. I need help. I don't understand. Like, how do I make them happier? How do I make them happier? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm giving them influence when I can. Uh, but. Yeah, that's that's all I know to do is just give them influence and attack hideouts to make the towns happier. I just feel like this is such an uphill climb. Like it requires so much influence to give to them for to to get them positive. There's got to be another way to make them like look at this, 94. It costs 50 influence to get them in good relations with us. Ah. 96? Like, dang. I need to get more cities and stuff. You know what? Let me look at my, my policies. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pass that royal guard policy. Uh, so if we go to kingdom. Policies. Where's that royal guard? Royal guard. Yes. I want a bigger party size, all right? I want more troops. Deal with it. <laughs> so now I can have how many now? Hold on. Let's check. Party. I can have 231 men. Hallelujah. That is awesome. Okay, well, let's go recruiting, shall we? I'm just going to go wherever I can. That We're going to be able to take cities on our own. That is so good. Yeah, let's get some Batanians in there. And sure, a lot of these guys are going to be recruits. That's fine. We should go back to, to the Vlandians. They had some great recruits over there. There we go. There's some good recruits here. Yeah, let's go over here and recruit. Yeah, let's, let's head back to the Vlandians. So that's going to be my goal for today's episode. Let's get this army full strength. Let's do it. Wait, what? Wait, who took the... Oh! That's right. The Azerai. The Azerai have taken this castle from the Kuzates. Which is like right in the middle of my empire. It's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, okay. That's fine. So yeah, we're making our way back to the Valandians Because they had such good recruits for us. And remember, I'm avoiding my own villages to recruit. Because I want my lords to recruit from them. At least that's what you guys have been telling me. Uh, we have more prisoners that want to join. Oh, we have a lot of prisoners who want to join. Look at this. This is beautiful. I don't know if they're like joining a little bit faster because we're not constantly in battles. And they're like kind of more willing to join because their risk of dying is not as high. But there's a lot of looters. Oh, yeah. Go get them, Azurai. Go get them. <gasps> what? What? What, how does this happen? What, okay, so we're at peace now with the Western Empire. I, I, I guess? I, I don't know why it says, like, Constantine made peace with the Western Empire. I didn't get any notification for it. I didn't get any option to agree to that. It's just, it is what it is, I suppose? I don't know. But we're at peace with the Western Empire now, which it really doesn't matter. Ooh, who are the Vlandians at war with? Hold on, is it the Batanians? Oh, it is. Uh-oh. Come on, Vlandians. <laughs> I'm going to go and recruit. <laughs> I'm going to go take all your recruits. Do you mind, Vlandians? <laughs> right, let's go over here. Let's recruit some troops. Uh, Empire troops, that's okay. We need so many recruits, it's ridiculous. So... Uh, I'm just going to take what I can from these villages that I don't own. But I think overall our empire is growing stronger because of this. Um, but yeah, what what crazy. It's kind of nice to see that other, other kingdoms are at war other than me. <laughs> you know, it's just like watching the, the world on fire, but we're okay right now. But I still think this is a great opportunity to take out that northern empire. Because they look so weak. And I feel like, especially now, 
If I can get 200 plus troops in my army, it's going to be insane. It's going to be insane. I'm going to have such a big army. No one will me mess with me. So there we go. Let's just keep recruiting. We're going to take everything we can get now because our army size is so big. And as days go by, we continue to grow money. Uh, we continue to... Ooh, we're getting a lot of crossbows. Holy crap. That's... Hey, I'm not complaining. I would like to get some, like, cav and infantry. I love the Vlandians. If I were to do another campaign, I would be a loyal servant of Landia. I think that would be really fun. Because they are just so cool. Uh, but hey, you know, since we're... Since this is a bit of a podcast-type episode... You know, there's not a lot of battles and whatnot. I want to hear what's, what's going on in your campaigns. Like, that's the cool thing about Mountain Blade is just, like, it's so different every time you play it. Like, I want to hear, like, what's happening? What's going on with your campaign? You know, what is there a certain faction that has taken control? And, you know, I remember playing one campaign, the Vlandians. They sucked. They just got destroyed by the Batanians. And, uh, and then I did another one, and they're kicking butt. Like, they are unstoppable. So it's really crazy to see, like, how every time you play this game, it's different. You know, it's like, it's different every single time. So let me know. Like, let me know what's what's going on in your campaigns. I'd love to read. I Seriously, guys, I, I get on and I read the comments. Now, you guys have been amazing and have been leaving, like, over a thousand comments every single episode. It is insane. Um... It's crazy. Like, it is just awesome. I can't read them all, but I do try to read as many as I can. And some of you guys talk about your campaigns, and I love it. Like, I, I love hearing about it. I love hearing what you guys are up to, what kind of character you've built. Like, did you get a trading? Oh, hey! Someone became a member. <laughs> Raise yes! Up banners! Thank you, whoever that is. <laughs> so... I'm going to leave that in. That's happened a couple times during recording. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that's when I stream and someone becomes a member. That's a notification. I always forget to turn it off because I use OBS to record and stream. Uh, but yeah, appreciate whoever that was becoming a member. Uh, but yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I like hearing about your your stories, guys, and, and what you guys are up to and everything like that. Um, because it's it's really cool. And, and I learn a lot from y you guys telling your stories. An army was created. Okay. Well, good luck, army. I'm busy recruiting. Okay? And I'm still kind of upset that we were kicked out of our own castle. I kind of feel like Ironclad right now. You ever see that movie Ironclad? Um, it's not very historically accurate, but uh, the king basically hires a bunch of uh, Danish mercenaries to take back a castle that is under his realm from... A lord that has kind of, you know, is not not bending the knee to him. It's pretty cool. And my game's frozen. So, there we go. <laughs> okay. It's a pretty cool movie. It's very, very gory. Um, if you like siege battles, it's a, it's a great siege movie. Um, we're going to start actually moving upward. And I'm going to try to get some Batanians in our army as well. Because they have some excellent archers. So, yeah, archers are really important. I think we're definitely getting a lot of archers. Oh, my goodness, has been taken. The king of Landia. Vlandia is on, like, its last leg right here. Like, they need to get their, their stuff together. Because they're not looking too good. They are getting beaten by the Batanians. Now, let's check this last village over here. Because I think we've gotten enough Vlandians. Enough Vlandians. Let's see. Let's recruit troops. There we go. We'll get two more. And then we'll go get some Batanians. Because they have some really awesome archers. Like, really awesome archers. Now, both these factions are at war. So, the uh, the well might run dry soon. Because they're recruiting their own men. But we're going to go over here. And just kind of see what's up. So, oh, here we go. Actually, actually, there's a lot here. That's great. Now, our army is going to be pretty green. And when I say green, I mean inexperienced. Uh, because of all the recent new additions. Our gold is still killing it. We got three 3,000 gold. So we should be able to afford this big army. By the way, you can click on this for recruit all, which I should be doing. But I don't know. Sometimes sometimes I do things in this game that um, I just do it because I like doing it. Like, I don't know why, but I like clicking on... Instead of just clicking this, I like clicking on the units. Like, it doesn't make sense. I, I don't know why I'm explaining this to you guys, but yeah. A lot of villages were raided over here. 
And I can understand why Bata Batanians are getting a little difficult to recruit because they don't really like us. So here. Boom. We're almost at 200 strong. That's crazy. Uh, Constitute's taken prisoner by the Northern Empire. Okay. <sighs> My lords, man. They just keep getting taken by uh, the Northern Empire. We might have to do something about that soon enough. Now, we're, we're about 35 minutes into this episode, so... We're gonna probably um, we'll go we'll go for a little bit longer here and just keep on recruiting, but what's what's again let's oh wrong click misclick. Uh, what are some things that you're kind of disappointed in Bannerlord? Um, there's a couple things that I'm like man, like I know it's early access and they're still gonna constantly update it and stuff, so it's not like this is a full release. So don't get me wrong, but oh come on, I was gonna recruit from here, Sturgeons. Come on, let's let's not do that. Yeah, there's a lot of war going on between these factions, which is great, but... Let's see, let's get more units here. We're almost at 200. We're gonna go ahead and go to this next village right here. And, uh, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. So we took out a couple bandit locations. Um, we can, we can recruit from these villages here. I think we're making our way back to our empire, which we are. So we made a big circle through the Vlandian lands and and all that. So we're going to quickly go here. And we'll, we should check for some food, too. Ooh, these are... Oh, hello. Those are some good good units. And let's buy all the food. Is it like, can I just take all of this? I guess I don't want the clay. There you go. Taking all your recruits, buying all your food. <laughs> no big deal. The Kuzates, man, they are, uh, oh, they took back their castle. Look at that. They're going at it. Here, let's, uh, let's go to this hideout over here and see if we can take that out really quick. Nice. Well done, guys. Keep improving relations. Uh, we also have some pr prisoners that want to join. Let's see how many. Ooh, we got a lot. We got a lot. We're going to pretty much get all these prisoners to join us. That puts us at 211 men. That is crazy. That is, I've never had such a big army before. That is awesome. All right, we're going to wait for nighttime to attack, and we're going to go ahead and attack this hideout. I think it might take us straight to the boss. I don't know how many, let's see, how many soldiers are in this hideout. It, it, it doesn't look like there's a lot. Yeah, see, we're going to go straight to the boss. I don't know why that is. It's like, do you need to let the hideout form up a little bit before you attack it? Uh, so, yeah. and I So, I mentioned, you know, you guys let me know what things you don't like in, in, in Bannerlord. But what are some things you love in Bannerlord? Like, for me, I love the... Um, when you're like a vassal for a kingdom. Oh, you, you fainted me. Good job. This guy's putting up a fight. to faint him uh, I love when you're a vassal and you control a section of the army when you're in a big battle you know like uh, when you're controlling cav or archers or infantry that's all very fun so there we go did that yes relations by nearby okay so we improve relations around these villages I assume and I think I'm pretty content with my army here uh, we could recruit from these villages and bailiffs. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. Town security is increased by one per day. Towns with a security greater than 60 yield one additional influence to the owner clan. Taxes from towns are reduced. Yeah, I like that. That's actually really good. Yeah, and we need to increase relations with them. He passed it. That's fine. He brought it up. I, I, I confirm with this. And if we look here at our lords, our policies, we got a lot of policies now. And see our army, 700, oh, wait, 700 men patrolling around. You just got an army patrolling around? We should probably use those 700 men and attack the Western Empire, don't you think? I think we should. Okay, so yeah, we've, we got a strong army. Uh, let's just, let's go, I guess we're out of time, guys, unfortunately, but we're gonna go ahead and go to our clans, and I guess give them some influence again. Slowly chip away. 
They're still all in the negative 90s. If there's a faster way to do this, let me know. Yeah. So we're working on it. We're working on it. <laughs> but that's going to be a long grind right there. So let's go to this city. We're going to go in here and we're going to go to the hall. Wait, you hear that Von... Oh, hey, is we've got separated. Awesome. Yeah, hey, let's get you back, buddy. Let's go to the tavern district. There you are. Come on. Let's uh join my party. We'll have him with our party. Why not? Welcome back, dude. Welcome back. So let's go to the keep. Let's go to the Lord's Hall. Technically, it's not mine. It's the Lord of the city. Hello, I'm the Emperor here. Good, good to see you. Good, good. Keep up the guarding, lads. Who's this? Hello, my lady. Oh, okay. Personal servant. Whatever. All right. I, I thought I could talk to her. All right, guys. So there's some housekeeping for you there. Um, again, let me know if you want me to do more of this stuff off camera. I just wanted to dedicate a whole episode to it, just to, you know, just to see how you guys would like it. And if you enjoy this kind of stuff, it's part of the adventure, then let me know. But if you don't, if you want me to kind of do it, because like, I felt like we did 40 minutes of kind of recruiting and improving villages and stuff, and we didn't get a lot done. And I feel like this is going to take hours to get, you know, my villagers really happy and my lords really happy. But uh, yeah, and let me know if there's a way to improve your vassals. I'm going to look it up too, but improve the vassals relations with you. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I've been enjoying this playthrough. Thank you guys so much for the support. And I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield.